Babylon, one of the most famous cities of the Bible. Babylon, an empire that dominated the ancient world as a center of trade, military power, culture, and religion. Babylon, the symbol of wealth and opulence, mystery and intrigue, decadence and corruption. Babylon, the imperial city of Hammurabi and of Nebuchadnezzar, its greatest king. But at its peak, Babylon fell suddenly in a single night by the decree of God himself. That was over 2,500 years ago. Today, Babylon is rising again on the Mesopotamian plain. Its partial rebuilding has captured the attention of theologians, scholars, and teachers of Bible prophecy alike. To some, it signals the rise of the dreaded Babylon the Great, foretold in the book of Revelation. What relevance does it hold for us today? And why does the legacy of Babylon continue to fascinate us? Join us as we explore Babylon, past, present, and future. Hello, I'm Neil Earl. For years as a minister and as a historian, I have been fascinated with the ancient Near East, especially as it relates to the Bible. You know, when we think of the places where the events of the Bible occurred, we usually think of Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, Nazareth, where he grew up, or perhaps Jerusalem, where he was crucified. But many famous events of the Bible took place in a land hundreds of miles from where Jesus lived, in a part of the world called Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia means the land between the rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. Today, much of ancient Mesopotamia lies within the borders of the modern country of Iraq. Mesopotamia is renowned as the cradle of civilization. Some of its cities date back to the very beginning of recorded history. Possibly the most famous of all is Babylon. Located on the banks of the Euphrates, about 60 miles south of present-day Baghdad, Babylon has had a long and fascinating history. Today, most of ancient Babylon is nothing but crumbling ruins and broken remnants beneath the sands of time. So why this fascination with a long-gone empire and a decayed city? Well, there's a story here, an intriguing story, and it's told through the hundreds of historical and religious texts that have been uncovered by archaeology.